Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 13, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Saren talking about the dismissal of Abdul Mahdi and seven ministers. Next week. November 12, 2019 Baghdad slash Obelisk, the Alliance of Sorin, complete the signatures of the interrogation of the Prime Minister and a number of members of his cabinet, noting that the session impeachment will be held next week. The parliamentary bloc Sarin issued last Monday a statement on the procedures for the interrogation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi in Parliament. The signatures of the interrogation of Abdul Mahdi and his cabinet in the House of Representatives have been completed. He added, the questioning will discuss the disregard of the Prime Minister of the blood of Iraqis and his adherence to the position despite the popular rejection of his survival, he said. He added that, the session will see the removal of Abdul Mahdi from his position and vote on the dismissal of seven ministers who failed to perform their work pointing out that the first points of questions that will be asked to Abdul Mahdi during the interrogation related to the killing of peaceful demonstrators unarmed. Next article of interest. Others. Abdul Mahdi will be questioned on 13 files. 1809, 12th November 2019 Baghdad. The Alliance of Sarin, on Tuesday, that the questioning of the Prime Minister will be on 13 files, including files of corruption and suppression of demonstrators and quotas to distribute positions. The deputy for Sarin Ga'a Balamiri told the information that the coalition of Sarin handed over the questioning of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to Parliament Speaker Mohammed Halbousi. He added that the coalition is waiting to hand over the file to Abdul Mahdi for review and determine the date of the interrogation session during the next sessions noting that the interrogation will be on 13 different file. He explained that, among them the file of suppression of demonstrations and the file of the distribution of positions and quotas that took place and other files of corruption took place during the last period and the lack of activation of most paragraphs of the government program. Next article of interest. New Fee warns of expected collapses and calls on the United Nations to prove its seriousness. 12th November 2019 2246. The head of the Opposition Salvation and Development Front, Osama al Nujafi, warned of expected collapses in the country. Nujafi said in a tweet on Twitter The international shift towards attention to the movement of protests and the political crisis in the country is important in form but it remains foggy and needs to prove its seriousness and complete its tools on the ground in order to avoid expected collapses. He called for the United Nations to play the role of guarantor in the implementation of the outcomes of the national dialogue, which he called for to reform the political system, in which the demonstrators represent a key party, if not by a committee agreed upon by them to unite their demands as a legitimate representative of them at the dialogue table. New Jaffe stressed the need to ensure early elections according to a fair law and a commission outside the effects and quotas. Next article of interest. High Nassif, corruption of the Ministry of Electricity, has reached the stage of destruction of the Iraqi economy. 12th November, 2019. Rep. Ali Nassif renewed its demand to cleanse the Ministry of Electricity of corrupt elements that made it a source of looting money and the destruction of the Iraqi economy, indicating that this ministry has become the dairy cow of the corrupt, while officials talk through the media about the achievements of fake. From time to time, the Ministry of Electricity shows us data full of lies and deceit that speak of fake achievements that are not on the ground, to cover up corruption in it which amounted to the appointment of the daily wage for a bribe of $5,000. She explained, 
The ministry recently stated that the increase in processing this year 16% and that it needs three years to achieve self-sufficiency of about 26,000 megawatts, and here we explain the economic destruction practiced by the ministry, has reached energy imports from neighboring countries and investment production rates the ministry's efforts to link with other neighboring countries such as Kuwait and Jordan clearly show the extent of the deficit and failure reached by the ministry. Nassif pointed out. The extent of the destruction reached by the distribution sector to the point of their inability to replace a converted in the case of disruption and dumped weeks without replacement, and on the other hand not to make any levy, even by 5% of the amount paid to investors, and not to enter any station. Those contracts were signed during the time of the former ministers despite the disbursement of their amounts such as Anbar Composite Station, Salah al Din Thermal Station. Alhartha Thermal Station per second and third units, the old gas station Kala, Samoa and Nasiria installed 1,500 MICA contracts concluded with the USGE which was obliged since the previous summer, and many other lagging projects. She stressed, there are efforts by Sarak currently to conclude contracts for the establishment of stations in the manner of investment and payment or swap, which are managed commissions in Dubai by SM and other Sarak affiliated to a higher authority in the ministry and unprecedented commissions. She pointed out, this ministry has exhausted the state budget and is still the dairy cough for stealing public money. Abreast people. Next article of interest. The other way is inevitably coming. 2019-12 November 2234 Baghdad Iraq Today, I at Heavenly. Although the statement of His Eminence the Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani after his meeting with the Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Janine Blatchart, did not contain the statement that the demonstrators will not return to their homes before all their demands are fulfilled, which was stated by Blatchart at her press conference after the meeting. The reality of the situation confirms that the demonstrators will not return to their homes unless all their demands for change are fulfilled, however sacrifice they are. The People's Revolution, which was launched on October 1st, is passed with the help of God and the youth of the revolution in achieving the goals for which it was launched, despite some unfortunate acts that have interrupted it. PSP The behavior of some of the malicious elements who try to distort the goals and the path of this blessed revolution in a way far from what the Iraqi people want, and I mean the attempts of the agents and remnants of the criminal Ba'ath and the agents of the American and Saudi embassies have regretted the hostility between the Iraqi and Iranian brotherly peoples. It is also certain that the eminence of the supreme authority with the full realization of the demands of the rebellious people to change the existing political system and achieve the desired reform and the elimination of corruption and damaging quotas. His eminence the supreme meeting with the special representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations has brought with him real concern about the lack of seriousness of political forces by making real reforms to the structure of the corrupt political system. This led the Supreme Authority to issue an explicit and direct threat to the three presidencies to take another way in case they are unable to fulfill the demands of the demonstrators. Even if the Supreme Authority is convinced of the correctness of the actions of the presidency when I launched this threat to take another road with them, as an example of the methods of twisted presidencies and their attempts to circumvent the demands of the people for change is the draft electoral law sent by the office of the president into different versions to the secretariat of the council of ministers this means that the supreme authority has begun to lose confidence in this corrupt and deceptive political class the supreme authority is not a judicial institution to try the three presidencies or a parliamentary institution to dismiss them but it certainly has a more dangerous weapon than the decrees orders and decisions and this fact is well understood by the three presidencies. It is ensured that day after day, the supreme authority will reach full conviction that reform through the institutions of the current political system and the current political class is absolutely impossible. Complicity can never trust them and entrust to them the task of reform, which calls for people rebellious. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP. Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning.
the link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.